Hello everyone, how have you been? Welcome back to Eric's Gibberish. In this video, we are going to take a look at the essential engineering calculation and dimension measurement tools that you will require at your electronics design and development workstation. This video is a part of a series of videos that I call Essential Tools and Instruments for an Electronics Workstation. Make sure to watch all of them. The links to the videos are given in the description section below. And if you haven't subscribed the channel already, then do so right now so that you get notified as soon as a new video is published. Vernier Caliper So let's begin with the Vernier Caliper, a very important tool used to accurately measure external and internal dimensions. External measurements are done using the lower jaws, whereas the internal measurements are done using the upper jaws. And the dimension is read out matching the main scale on the main arm to the vernier scale on the sliding arm. The vernier caliper also has a depth measuring probe used for depth or height measurements. The two most popularly available variants of the vernier caliper are the classic vernier caliper and the digital vernier caliper. Both can be used for dimension measurements in millimeters or in inches. The major differences between the two being that the digital vernier caliper provides a very slightly higher resolution between the two of 0.01 mm and directly outputs the measured dimension on a digital display. It requires a battery though, usually a button cell, for its functioning. The classic vernier caliper on the other hand provides a very slightly lower resolution between the two of 0.02 mm and does not directly provide the dimension measurement on any display. It requires no batteries for its use though. So let's measure an object using both the vernier calipers and compare their readings. So the classic vernier caliper reads out 50.2 mm and the digital vernier caliper reads out 50.18 mm. The digital vernier caliper has on it an on off button to conserve the battery when the caliper is not in use and also has a zero adjust button that helps manually calibrate the digital vernier caliper before commencing any measurements. The measurement units can be selected or toggled using this millimeter slash inch button. Using the classic vernier caliper is fun, matching the vernier scale to the main scale. But a digital vernier caliper gets the work done much faster and is hence usually preferred. 6 inch ruler or scale and a 12 inch or foot long ruler or scale. We all have been using these since we were in school. They are useful for lesser critical dimension measurements in millimeters or in inches. Tape measure or measuring tape. It consists of a flexible ruler also called the ribbon and is used to measure dimensions greater than which a standard ruler or scale can measure. Majorly used by carpenters, the tape measure or measuring tape can be easily carried in the pocket too and is a handy tool to include in your toolkit. Protractor or Pro Circle Used for angular measurements in degrees. Scientific Calculator An extremely useful instrument for engineering calculations and conversions, the majorly used functions being hexadecimal, decimal, binary base conversions, trigonometric functions like sine, cos, tan and their reciprocals, logarithmic functions, permutations and combinations, standard engineering prefixes and multipliers, etc. You can identify with this patch on the display that my Casio model FX991 has aged a lot. It has been with me since I was in engineering college. And if you do not have a scientific calculator similar to this one, then the standard calculator on a computer or mobile would also suffice. And finally, a diary or a notebook with writing tools like pens, pencils, markers, etc. A handy requirement to make a quick note of readings and observations, to rough scribble your circuit ideas and other diagrams, to maintain a to-do list and its schedules, very important, and to even practice handwriting. Since these days with the keypads and keyboards available on everything, we are using pens and pencils a lot lesser than we used to before. I have made this entire list available for download in case you want to add it to your upcoming shopping wish list. The link to it is given in the description section below. And here's a quick question for you. Which one would you prefer to use? The classic vernier caliper or the digital vernier caliper? Do leave your answers in the comment section below. Would be interesting to know. 
Also let me know if there's any tool or instrument which you feel deserved a place on this list that I may have missed out at mentioning or may have been less privileged to have in my toolkit. So that's all we have for this video. Hope you found it informative and helpful. If yes, then please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe for notifications to my latest uploads. And if you have any questions or suggestions over this video, then do drop them in the comment section below. And always remember, observation and not old age brings wisdom. Thanks for watching. I'm Eric. Until my next gibberish. Bye-bye.